This is part 26 of jQuery tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss the difference between $each and $each methods. In jQuery, there are two versions of each method, $each, $each. $each can also be written like this, jQuery.each. is the shortcut for this word, jQuery. So what's the difference between .each and $each? .each method is used to iterate over the items in a jQuery object collection whereas $each method is used to iterate over JavaScript objects or arrays. Let's look at a few examples and that should make it clear. So let's flip to Visual Studio. Here we've got an unordered list and this unordered list contains a few list items. So within our jQuery ready function, let's use the selector $li. So what is the selector going to do? It's going to return all these list items using a jQuery object collection. So this selector is going to return us a jQuery object collection that will contain all these list items. So if we want to iterate over all these list items in that jQuery object collection, we will use dot each function. And we discussed this function in the previous sessions of this video series. And if you look at this function, it has got two parameters, callback and arguments. This callback parameter represents a function that we want to execute for each item that we are iterating over. And this function has two parameters, index and element. So what does this index parameter represent? This index parameter represents the index of the item that we are currently iterating over within this collection. And the element parameter represents the element itself. So let's say we want to print the index of the item and the value, that is the list item value. So let's create a result variable here. Let's initialize that to an empty string. And within our jQuery each function, let's say result plus equals. So we want to append this word index equals and then we want the index itself. So this parameter contains the index of the element and to that let's append comma space and then this word value equals and we want to get the list item value that is the text of the list item. And to refer to the element we can use this element parameter. Now the important question that we have to ask here is what does this element parameter represent? We know that it represents the element that we are currently iterating over, but is it the raw DOM element or the JavaScript object? It's actually the raw DOM element. Since it is the raw DOM element, look at this, when I press dot, the IntelliSense does not show up JavaScript methods, for example, uh, jQuery methods, I mean. jQuery has got the HTML method. Look at that, that is not shown in the IntelliSense. Similarly, jQuery has got text method, that method is not shown. All these, um, you know, properties and methods that we see here are the um, raw, you know, JavaScript methods and properties. But the jQuery specific methods and properties are not displayed in the IntelliSense here. And that's because this element is a raw DOM element and not the jQuery object. So to convert this raw DOM element to a jQuery object, we have to use the jQuery wrapper dollar. So what is this going to do? This is going to convert this raw DOM element into a jQuery object. Now on this when we press dot and then type text, look at that, the jQuery method text shows up in the IntelliSense which is going to return us the text of the list item. And to that let's append an HTML break and a semicolon. So we are iterating over each element, retrieving it, its index and the list item text. And then finally, let's display the result in this div element. This div element has got an ID. So let's find the div element by ID. ID selector is hash. And the ID of the element is result div. And let's call the HTML method and pass the result variable. So let's save the changes. And when we reload, look at this. We should get each list items index and list item text. So if you look at you know, this each function here, we're using the element parameter to refer to the element that we are currently iterating over. We could use that parameter or we can also use this keyword. And again, this keyword represents the raw DOM element that we are iterating over. To convert that to a jQuery object, we wrap that using the jQuery wrapper. 
and then call the text method on that. So even at this point, when we reload this page, we should get the same result. So here, we're using the jQuery.each function to iterate over the items in the jQuery object collection. Now let's look at an example of using $.each. When do we use $.each? We use $.each to iterate over JavaScript objects or arrays. So let's look at an example of using $.each to iterate over JavaScript arrays. So uh, let's leave that result variable. Let's get rid of this each function here. And let's create actually a JavaScript array. Let's call this integer array. And let's initialize that to 100, 200, 300, 400, and 500. So we have got five elements here. Now we want to iterate over those elements and display the index and the actual element value. So this is not a jQuery object. This is a JavaScript array. Now to iterate over the elements in this JavaScript array, we use $.each function. So I'm going to use dollar dot each. And if you look at this version of the each function, notice that we have got three parameters. So callback and arguments, we have seen those two parameters in dot each version. In addition to those two parameters, we also have this object parameter. So what does this object parameter represent? Now at the moment, look at this. We are calling this each function on this dollar. Okay. So at the moment, this each function does not know the object or the array that it has to iterate over. So the first parameter is the object or the array that we want to iterate over. So let's pass that integer array. So now this each function, that is $.each, knows you know, what it has to iterate over. And then obviously the next parameter is the callback function, which gets called for each iteration. So this is very much similar to the callback function we have in the each version that is in dot each version. So it will take two parameters, index and element, just like the previous version. And we have the result variable here. So result plus equals, let's say index equals. And to get the index, same idea, we use the index parameter. To that, let's append comma space value equals plus and we can use the element itself in this case. And let's append HTML break to that. All right. And we are displaying whatever we have within that result variable in this result div. So let's save the changes. And when we reload, we should see those numbers within that array. OK, so here it's a JavaScript array. So we are using $.each to iterate over this JavaScript array. Now let's look at an example of using $.each to iterate over a JavaScript object. So here within the notepad, I have a JavaScript object. So let's copy this JavaScript object. And let's paste it right here. OK, so we have this JavaScript object. It has got a key and a value. Now we want to iterate over this JavaScript object, retrieve the key and its value, and display it within the result dev. Okay, so this is a JavaScript object, and to iterate over this JavaScript object, we are again going to use $.each. Okay, and this time, the object that we want to iterate over is JS object, and we have a callback function here. You know, you can leave these parameters names as is. But in this case, since this is more like a key, I'm actually going to change its name to key. So it's a bit more meaningful. And we're going to say, you know, let's also change this text here to key. So key equals key, value equals element. OK, so now when we save the changes and when we reload, Look at this. We get the key as the country name and value as its capital. So we have the country names as keys and the capitals as values. So in this case, we are using $.each to iterate over the properties of the JavaScript object. So in short, we use each method to iterate over items in a jQuery object collection, whereas $.each is used to iterate over JavaScript objects or arrays. And these are the examples that we just discussed. This is the first example. 
this is the second example where we use $each to iterate over items in a JavaScript array. And this is the last example where we use $each to iterate over JavaScript object properties. Thank you for listening and have a great day.